Hi, my name is Karina Andalon Brown. Chris Peterson is running for governor, and I'm his running mate for lieutenant governor for the state of Utah. My family and I live in Cache Valley. We've lived there for about 10 years. We ended up in Utah after living all over the country for our schooling and my husband's military service. So we wanted to have a place that was more quiet, more rural, and have four seasons. So that's why we chose Nibley. And we have family in Utah also. We like to go hiking together. We like to play basketball together. My grandma taught me and my mom taught me how to make bread. So I like to make bread and I like exercise. I did 100 burpees yesterday. <laughs> We like to play music together. We all play the guitar, and my daughter and I play the violin. So those are the, some of the things that we like to do, nature, music. My family is very supportive of me running for lieutenant governor. When I told them about the opportunity, they all immediately said yes. They can see how excited I get and how passionate I am about different issues. They support me because of that, because they can see that I love it. I have found that my views align with the democratic views, family values, but also views on education, healthcare, and the environment. Medicaid expansion is actually what got me interested in politics. My mother passed away in 2013 in the healthcare coverage gap, unfortunately. And so I was studying the issues and things that were coming up, and I saw Governor Herbert's Healthy Utah plan coming up for a vote. And so I felt like it was important it can benefit people similar to my mother who might be living in difficult circumstances. And so I contacted all of the legislators. I sent them an email letting them know my thoughts. And due to my work doing that, I was invited to be one of the sponsors for Medicaid expansion or signatories on Proposition 3. So I was able to sign my name on the paperwork to get it filed with the Lieutenant Governor's Office. And so to see it go from that to gathering signatures for it to be on the ballot and then for it to actually pass is amazing to me and that's why I'm so passionate about public service and I'm passionate about voting because I've seen this process take place in just several years of us all working together. I'm co-chair of the Cache Valley Chamber of Commerce Legislative Affairs Committee. I've been working to advocate for Utah businesses and improve the business environment for Northern Utah. It's important to strengthen Utah one community at a time, including rural Utah. I'm excited about all the things that we've been able to do at the state level through the Propositions 2, 3, and 4, and also with the latest tax referendum. I'm also excited about the things I've been able to do in Cache Valley, working with other members of the community in a bipartisan way to accomplish great things. One of the projects that I've been involved with in Cache Valley that's, that relates to being the Lieutenant Governor is voting, overseeing the, the elections. I'm the co-chair of Cache Celebration for Women's Suffrage 2020, and it's an organization that is working to promote the 100th anniversary of the 19th Amendment. And 1870 is when the first woman in the U.S. voted under an equal suffrage law. That was Sarah Young the 55th anniversary of the Voting Rights Act. So we've been having an exhibit go to all three school districts in Northern Utah to promote that history and to get children excited about voting. I think the special skills I bring to the Lieutenant Governor position is I'm able to see people's strengths and how they can contribute to our team and helping people realize that their vote makes a difference. Proposition two, three, and four passed because of Utah voters. And also how to build bridges with people that are different than me and create an environment of trust and open communication so that we can accomplish great things together. Chris Peterson and the Karina Brown ticket for governor and lieutenant governor is a great, powerful combination because of our advocacy work. His work for consumer advocacy and my work for healthcare advocacy is a powerful combination. It will resonate with Utahns regardless of party because they will feel that someone is fighting for them and we're ready to fight for you.